It's been documented that black voter turnout was at its highest during the Obama elections. But since then, it saw its biggest decline in 20 years during the 2016 presidential election. Today, with early voting, however, not only is the black voter re-engaged, but black male and first-time voters are taking their issues to the polls. I spoke with two energized youth, and I caught up with Spencer Reed of Campus Vote Project, a young political star on the rise. What was it like working alongside Bernie Sanders? Yeah, it was a great honor to work on that campaign. I learned a lot, um, had some amazing experiences talking, getting to know to voters uh, and other people on the campaign. And as a, someone who shares the exact same degree with, uh, with Bernie from the same school and is from the same state, uh, it was very nice to be sort of following in his footsteps and uh, working on that campaign. Um, and you're with Campus Vote Project. And that is, that's a really big project because it's focused around the country on getting students registered to vote. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. So my team has especially been focused on recruiting students as poll workers to fill the, uh, the gap left by the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but we also do a whole lot of get out the vote work, a lot of student voter registration, lowering barriers to vote on campus across the organization uh, all across the country. I know that a lot of organizations like yours are looking and recruiting younger people to work the polls. Why is that important? This year in particular, it's important you know, to fill this gap because we saw in the primaries what happens when there's a shortage of poll workers. We saw places like Milwaukee go from 180 polling places to just five and the long lines that that caused. Um, we also see uh, record numbers of young people, um, a hugely larger proportion of the poll workers this year, I think, will be uh, of a younger age. The average age, I think, we'll see will be much lower. Uh, my team, for instance, has recruited over 11,000 people to serve as poll workers, largely students and young people across the country. And are you finding that people are fearful that it's not going to be safe and, and fair? We know that if there's not enough poll workers uh, and there's a shortage of polling places open, that leads to longer lines, which is to me a form of voter suppression and disenfranchisement. Um, we know that all sorts of laws are unequally applied, especially to communities of color uh, and especially to young people. Um, so we definitely see a lot of concern with that. We're going to next meet a set of young guys that are going to vote for the very first time in their presidential election. So I just want to get what it was like for you and what advice would you give to the to this upcoming uh, group of young guys that are going to vote? There's something about filling out that ballot for the first time that I think is a really uh, valuable experience. Um, and certainly it's an opportunity to make our voices heard. And on that note, my advice uh, to any young person and the advice that I would give to myself uh, from that election I spent a lot of time watching the polls. I spent a lot of time um, thinking about it. I spent a lot of time paying attention, but I did not spend a lot of time then organizing or taking action. And I really wish I had. I think that it, we all have an opportunity to make an enormous difference when we step up, uh, when we organize with each other, when we build power together. And I just wish that I had done more of that. And I, I'm always impressed when I see young people stepping up in that way. And I'm, I'm sure that they are already doing that, but I'm looking forward to see all the amazing work that they're gonna continue to do. When you factor in the racial injustices of the summer, the pandemic, and the overall feeling of exclusion, this 2020 voting demographic proves to be powerful at the polls. I want to now welcome in 21-year-old Bryce Harris from the University of Hartford and 18-year-old Jalen Lawson, a freshman from Framingham, Massachusetts. Both are first-time voters. I think that it's very important for our demographic to vote. I think everyone's vote counts especially um, because of all that's going on with the social injustices in America. I believe that our demographic specifically is the most important. Because of how much it affects us uh, with everything that happened in the summer, with seeing all of the protests because George Floyd was murdered, because Breonna Taylor was murdered, um, and with people wanting to organize and, and figure out a way to do something. People always want to figure out a way to do something figure out a way to help in some way, shape, or form. And voting is kind of right there in front of them. Yes, these American University study does show that black men are just less engaged with that. Uh, the reason behind this with black men is that they do feel ostracized. They do feel like um, they're just not seen or that their vote doesn't matter. Um, Jalen, you are just a freshman in college. You were impacted by the pandemic this summer. You weren't able to have a college grad, a high school graduation and now you're at home during your freshman year of college. Do any of these factors change the way that you're looking at this election? Honestly, no, I think that it only makes us stronger 
that we got all of the stuff taken away from us. I think that we've learned a lot more in this time. We've taken time to be more educated and people are actually listening. This same American University poll says that 79% of young black Americans say that Trump is a racist and that the environment of the summer energized them to want to go to the polls. Before we got to the polls, you pinned all of your frustration and put it into an op-ed. Tell us, tell us the, the, the happenings behind that, how it came to be. A lot of it was already there, and then the whole summer happened, and I was able to put the final pieces in place on it. Just from seeing the reactions to what we were doing in terms of protesting, whenever we went out and protested, um, and if a building got burned, if it was looted, then it was pinned on us, even though most of our protests were peaceful and it tended to be other people. And seeing the way that people reacted in terms of oh, the black community is like so strong and resilient. And that was the point of my op-ed is just like, we're strong and resilient because we have to be, because there continue to be circumstances that put us through things that harden us into resilience. And I want those things to stop. That was the whole point of the op-ed. And those things have been, have been exacerbated by the president who is a racist, the full stop. And to be able to get that president out of office, this open faced racism, Voting is the best way to do that right now. Jalen, do you feel like your vote is going to count? Your very first vote happens to be in this presidential election. A hundred percent. I think everyone's vote counts. I think that everyone should vote. I think everyone should become educated on the topic to make their own, I mean, state their own claims or whatever. I think that this year is especially important because, like he said, the racist that we do have in office right now has to be taken out. And I think that our vote matters the most, especially the black men demographic. What is the biggest fear for young black men uh, going to the polls? Honestly, personally, as young black men, my greatest fear isn't the polls themselves, rather. My biggest fear is all of us voting, everything going, I guess, the way we want it to go. Um, I'll put it that way. He loses and Biden becomes president. And then everything from the summer gets washed away and we all or the country takes a collective like sigh of relief and says that we did it and that we arrived at our conclusion we got trump out of office and that's all we had to do and everything returns to the status quo when the status quo and all of those situations and surrounding things is what got us here in the first place my biggest fear is that after the polls are counted if he ends up losing that people won't continue to organize, won't continue to realize that there's still so much work to be done, that they won't realize that this is supposed to be the beginning and that voting is not the end all be all, that you can vote and still community organize. You can dismantle structures, you can talk to people, you can discuss things with people, you can get involved in some way, shape or form. And my biggest fear is that that won't continue. I think that this is the beginning and I just want us to keep progressing as a country and a whole. I think that it's important that, um, just like I said, everyone votes this year and starts at that. And from there, we can tackle the social tensions that are happening in America and also things regarding COVID, which our president did not handle well.